it is Resurrection Day. Easter is the witness that love is stronger than death. That is sometimes hard to believe and difficult to embrace. On this Easter Sunday, we celebrate the resurrection, which is the gift of a divine love that cannot be shut down by death or by fear or by anger or by disappointment or by grief. This enormous gift of love has been given to us, and we are challenged to pass it on. Easter, it is the witness that love is stronger than death. And our scripture today that we will share together is found in the book of John, chapter 10, starting with verse 11 and going through verse 18, thinking about the love of Jesus, which is stronger than death. Jesus says, starting in verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep in his care. The hired hand is not like the shepherd caring for his own sheep. When the wolf attacks, snatching and scattering the sheep, he runs for his life, leaving them defenseless. The hired hand runs because he works only for wages and does not care for the sheep. But Jesus says again, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. As the Father knows me, I know the Father. I will give my life for the sheep. There are many more sheep than you can see here, and I will bring them as well. They will hear my voice, and the flock will be united. One flock, one shepherd. The Father loves me because I am willing to lay down my life, but I will take it up again. My life cannot be taken away by anybody else. I am giving it of my own free will. My authority allows me to give my life and to take it up again. My friends, Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. Pray with me. Father, on this glorious Easter morning, the fact remains that that tomb is empty. To know that Jesus had so much love for us, so much that our minds can't even wrap even a deep understanding of how deep that love is. We can't even wrap our heads around that. But he said he came and he came. He said he was the good shepherd and that he cares and that he came for all, every human being. And he says that there will be one shepherd and one flock. We rejoice this morning in your love, in your plan, in the joy you instill in each one of our hearts. No matter what the circumstance, the fact is, Jesus is alive. And that gives us great hope in the midst of any circumstance we find ourselves today. It is with joy and confidence that we gather, even remotely, even online today. We are still gathering because your people will celebrate this Easter day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>